Welcome back everyone to our career mode series of NASCAR Heat 3. So this is exactly where we left off in our last video preparing for Bristol. We will not be running this race. We're actually going to simulate it uh, just so that we can keep things moving and focus more on some of the tracks that match the equipment that we have. We don't currently have uh, any equipment for Bristol. However, that might change here momentarily, but I still do not plan on uh, running Bristol. We're going to skip ahead a little bit uh, into the season. So let's go into purchase chassis. And what do we got? $6,100. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and purchase a normal chassis. We're going to need that for Eldora, if nothing else. So we've got two employees. Let's go ahead and hire an additional employee. And we're looking for arrows. So May Sanders, that will work just fine. And we'll go ahead and train her. And we'll train her as much as we can with the money we have. And okay, not bad. So that's actually a plus 10. Yikes. That is much more than I thought we were going to get. Now the question is, under improve equipment. Uh, okay, so 75 there. So we won't be able to fully utilize her talents just yet. Uh, or will we? Yes, we can. $750, which we have. So now we can have an 85, 80, and 85 car. Um, I like it. I like it quite a bit. So that has turned out about as well as it possibly could have. So if we look forward a little bit, Janelle is maxed out on the engine. So she's great. May at 10, we need to get her to 15. Same thing with Robert. He's at 12. We need to get him to 15. But overall, I am extremely happy with where things are. Let's go ahead and adjust that work plan. And let's see, normal. Let's go ahead and get everybody allocated and assigned to their proper workstation. Start that work, and there you have it, 85, 80, and 82. Okay, let's go ahead and simulate that one. We'll choose our normal chassis. And, ooh, 22nd, that is certainly not an easy victory. But we earn $8,800 and 10 more fans. Again, we've got more family that keeps showing up. We're up to 69 fans. Oh, and we've got a message. All right, so after moving through that uh, video message, which was simply to tell us that, you know, don't worry about that last finish. It's no big deal. It happens to everybody. So no problem there. And we have another hot seat offer. So RBR has offered us the 92 truck for Dover. We need to get a top 25 finish and that will net us 10 grand if we're able to do that. So, hey, let's head to Dover. All right, folks, it is race time here at Dover and my frustration level is already really high. So we're using the hard difficulty level because we're in a three-star truck. There you saw our 92 chassis and we're starting just inside the top 20. We need a 25th place finish or better in order to get that 10 grand and move on to our next hot seat uh, and hopefully get some four-star equipment there. My frustration is coming because this is now my third time to start this race. The first two times I've actually been wrecked on lap one. So right now I'm just trying to get away from guys. Just, let's just find somewhere on the track we can Clear ride. Clear because I have gotten dumped on corner entry both times. All right, looks like we're actually going to make a lap or two here. Stay low, stay so low. that's good. That's a, that's a very nice change from where we have been. Now, let's hope that continues. Uh, again, all we need is a top 25 here. So we're well into the bonus territory. So again, our best friend right now is that this thing goes single file. And we can move by these guys on the high line. And get this thing single file and give ourselves a little bit more room to operate. Because with the AI running this track like it's like their own rails, it is very difficult to stay on the inside of them unless they give you some room. Oh, look out. Freezing with a slip up. 
careful now. Easy. Clear all around. All right, let's see if we can get to the inside of Freeson on corner entry. Stay low, stay low. Careful, still there. Track all yours. All right, and make the pass. Well, much easier to make these passes when you're single file, and you got a little bit of room to operate. So we've also shortened the race distance back down to 13 percent because these are hot seats. Inside, inside, inside. Ooh, that was not a good corner for us, and. He's going to go by us. I'm not going to put up too much of a fight there. We're just going to drop in behind him. Because things are going very well for us. We've got a 26 lap race. And no reason to push the issue because we are well into the bonus territory on our running position. 20 more laps. No mistake now. All right, 20 more laps. Uh, and you can see, we are pulling right back in on these guys. Let's see, we need to get by that uh, Ford truck. Now, there. That's the one we need to get by. Because it looks like Haley is a good bit faster than him. Just looking for a way by right now, and he might... Nope, I thought he'd found it right there to the inside. But couldn't quite make it stick. closing in on these guys but right now just not a whole lot I can do we can ride around up here on this high side but that's not gonna probably get us very far if laps wind down we might give it a shot because we're getting no threat from the back we are in no danger of losing our position so we can afford to move around if we want to Alright, let's see if we can make this happen. We gotta get around the four in order to make this worth it. Either that or we're gonna push the 24 by on the inside. Yep, and that's exactly what happened. Alright, now let's try to work on the four car. The four truck rather. Oh, he's leaving me a little room at the bottom, but not quite enough to get through there. Hang tight there, driver. Oh, look at that. He is holding me down tight in the corner, which is a good move on his part. Uh, the bad side would be that if I can't hold it down there, we both wreck. All right, so just not enough motor off the corner to make that move stick. So we got there, and he held us down quite nicely and was able to keep his position. But right now, we're certainly faster than him. We just got to time the run correctly and hopefully clear him through the corner so he doesn't have time to come back on us on the following straightaway. All right, so we're about halfway through the race. We got a nice run. Can we get there? No, we cannot. So he's easily going to cover that spot. We could give him the boot right there. He's leaving it open for us. He's leaving us enough room that we could try to force our way through there, but not quite enough room to get through there unscathed. Stay low. Right, careful now. Still there. Oh, he chopped my nose that time. I thought he was going to give us the inside there, but he certainly did not. All right, so we'll back up. We'll try again. Again, I don't want to get too terribly aggressive with him because we just need to finish 25th. And if we end up wrecking, then obviously we're not going to finish 
in the top 25. And he just has too much motor down the straightaway for me to make that run stick. Because we're killing him through the corners. Just need him to keep sliding up the track just a little bit more. You can see we're right there. Very close to having what we need to make this happen. All right, are we there? Uh, no, we are not. Yep, right there is another opportunity where we could have punted him. He was giving us more room than he should have. Alright, laps are starting to wind down, only eight more. I feel like if we could have gotten by this guy before now, then we could have run away from him. And who knows, we might have caught that next group in front and been trying to move up some, some more positions. But right now, I can't do anything with Gilliland. I'm faster than him in the corners, but he's certainly faster than me on the straightaway. All right, a great run here. Let's see if we can carry this. Stay low. Careful, still there. Nope. Just not going to have the momentum we need. And you can see that was a huge run we had. Another big run this time. We didn't back out early because I knew he was going to chop us off. So the one time we were able to get under him through the corner, he held us down enough that we couldn't keep our momentum. Five to go. But this is this. some good racing. I mean, this is, he's pushing me to try to figure out a way around him, knowing that I'm down on horsepower. Size. Let's make it work right here. We can get to his outside much easier than we can his inside. That's for sure. All right, I'm all but wide open right here. I'm lifting just a bit to maybe 75% throttle just for a second on entry to try to plant the car and let it rotate. Uh, but you can uh, see, he can... Now. Oh, look out! Okay, apparently he got tired of us being out there. Alright, this is where some of the bad behavior of the AI really becomes evident. These guys are just running in a line right in front of us. So I'm assuming the leader of that pack is a lap down. That's kind of what I'm assuming at this point. Let's see if we can make this happen on the outside since they got a freight train going. Hold your line, stay up high, stay high, still there. The white flag this time, it'll be a checkered flag next. Hold a good wheel here, don't move. Stay oh, high. how about that? Tight there, driver. Hold this line here. Clear all around. Well, that worked out perfectly on the timing. Here we are at the end of the race, and we're going to pick up spots up to sixth. Position. We certainly didn't have speed for a top six. But yet, here we are. Sixth place finish. We'll take our money and continue to upgrade on our dirt car. All right, so point standings are going to look terrible for us, naturally. No idea about the fastest lap because I wasn't paying attention to any of our lap times. 
All right, so that team should be thrilled with our finish. So they'll give us our 10 grand, and hopefully our next hot seat will be a four-star offer. So let's see what's next on the agenda. Looks like we're headed back to the Extreme Dirt Tour and Texas, another short track. That should be fun. We'll do that next time. Thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned as we will continue our career mode series of NASCAR Heat 3.